Okay, hopefully we're gonna besiege Sala and they're not just gonna go and... Well, both of the villages are looted, so there's nothing else to go for. Yeah, looks like Phase Wayne is moving in on the shark. Which is kinda bad and kinda not bad. I, I, I don't know. I'd rather face Phase Wayne than the shark, to be honest. Let's see what the hell is he going to do. Okay, he's gonna charge in, and the enemy is charging in too. It should be pretty straightforward. Thankfully, he didn't like dance around the enemy on the edges here, like the AI usually does. Yeah, I don't have a place to put my archers though. Alright, I still didn't change the army compositions for the Empire Lords. So they won't have any they won't have that many Praetorians on them. Since you do if you do add a, like a new troop to the game, you do need to add the party compositions. Otherwise the AI usually doesn't get the new troops you add to the game. So that's one thing I should change on the mod. I might remember to do it, I might not. I'm gonna update it in the channel description if I do. And of course inform you on stream. Because that will drastically improve the AI. On the battlefield, at least. Okay, now I hope the guy that didn't give me a mission to scout out the remaining villages. That would be shitty. It would be nice if we ended on a Sala on defeat in this stream. You don't need to always check for various loot or gold bars in the enemy's inventory. 
Why the f what the fuck are they doing? Why are they just sitting there? Okay, never mind. Now they're moving. Okay, I just need to follow him around. Okay, finally we're besieging Salem. I just need to move my troops around though. And finally we got the siege battle in. I'm not gonna uh, join the battle in the beginning, I'm gonna wait for them to kill off some of the enemies. Yeah, like now, this, this is a good time to join it. You always want to let the AI AI waste all their troops. Well, not waste, like take the brunt of the damage. Uh, and I don't know why, but the AI always listens listens to your commands in siege battles. Makes no sense to me, but. It does. Like it looks like we can kill all of the guys on the left first. And they should be spawning on the right. I'm not sure though. You always do need to kill off all their enemy archers because most of the most of your casualties are gonna be from them hitting your troops. Especially now that they gave them infinite ammo. I really should have looked at the patch notes and see why they did that. Maybe the next castle I conquer I should ask for the for it to be awarded to me because maybe then I get the village too. I do need two more villages so I can exchange them for the ones around Sarleon. Oh Laria. The two burn and the, what was the other one? Can't remember. Thankfully this sword does one shot and maybe even if it's not upgraded. No, yeah, this may be bad. It's always a shit shitty thing if you're battling on a siege. If you get shot by one arrow you're gonna get shot by all of them to follow.
Hopefully I don't get shot in the back. It would be nice if you had the indicators for when an enemy aggros to you. Now I think the enemy had like 400 uh, troops left, so this shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Where the fuck was that guy running? Now I really want to see how the Knight of the Order performs with axes on this. Hopefully they break through the enemy lines a bit faster on sieges. Not even the, uh, the damage the enemy archers do is the problem. Is the problem is you get staggered. Oh shit! Well, that ten enemies decide to aggro onto me. That took them long enough. Oh, that was the problem. It was still on faster. I'm used to normal. Look at them flying off. Okay, there's I think still one more wave of enemies after this one. It looks like our guys are breaking through at least, somewhat. Yeah, it's basically all men at arms at this point. And one random knight of lion in there. Look at that. We'll see if the axe, uh, the curved axes don't break through them easily enough. I'm just gonna give them battle hammers so we can see if, if they can crush through enemy blocks. If not, I might just give them the heavy mauls. Or, yeah, a maul so they can crush through enemy blocks. They're gonna get shot to shit, but should work out.
Oh yeah, and a lot of those there are, are hoplites, which are shit close range. Like if they didn't change the fact that you can't retreat and just start in the battle again, I would just instantly retreat and charge in again. This would take so much less time. Okay, they finally broken through. Okay, that should be the end of Saleo now. Oh shit, and it's third already. I think I have enough time to get to the Noldo tournament. Uh, we'll be cutting it close though. Okay, and that's Saleo and gone. Ah, it's too late. Shit. Well, at least we won the tournament. Uh, not the tournament, but the war against Saleon. They're gone. Finally. Now we're probably gonna declare war on the... The Shah, hopefully. And take them out. Or maybe on Ravenstone, since they have Maleons, which is right there. It would be nice to take that from them. Maybe even for myself. And the more time we like let them sit there, the more troops they're gonna have there. Which is shitty. Okay, finally. Although I might not have the money for all of these. Let's see. Okay, I do, the, but that's half the money gone. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you for watching. Have a good morning, good day, good night. And see you next time.